Okay, so yesterday Apple released iOS 16 and developer beta 3 and as per usual I like to come back and share with you guys additional new features and changes that I've made come across after using the software for a little over 24 hours, right? I have time to test it, time to find out exactly everything that's new. So this is the follow up. Now, if you didn't watch my initial coverage where we talked about there's two new fonts for the lock screen, there's also new changes to the wallpaper UI and there's also a new major new feature called lockdown mode which is super super cool i recommend you check out the links in the description for my initial coverage and in this one we're taking a look at some additional new features and changes in ios 16 developer beta 3. now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, one of the biggest changes coming to the Photos application this year with iOS 16 is iCloud Shared Photo Library. Now, this feature is so cool because just pretend you're going on a trip or vacation with a friend. You can create a shared folder and then you can add your friend and I'm going to show you the setup process. You can add your friends and any pictures and videos that you take throughout the trip, you'll both have in one single folder without having to text back and forth or airdrop back and forth images and videos is super cool of course you have control over everything your camera now has a new button toggle and control so i'm going to show you that here in just a few seconds and here's the splash screen showing off everything so i have this iphone here running the latest beta if i go into settings go to icloud and then i go into the icloud options i want to click into photos and here it is shared library right there it is and you can start setting it up we're going to go ahead and click Start Setup. Right here, you can add a person if you wish to do so. So let's go ahead and skip this part here, Add Later. And right here, we have the ability to all photos, choose by date or choose manually. I'm assuming most people will do choose manually. So go Continue here. And let's say I want to go ahead and select this photo here for now and click Forward here. We have Preview of the library if you want to do that. I'm going to skip that. I don't really want to do that right now. And then right here is the final screen where you can go ahead and add anyone to a particular photos so invite later here we go so now it is all set up now all i have to do is at any moment i can go ahead and send this one to a friend so share automatically is right here or share manually let's go ahead and do manually here and let's click done so now if i go into the camera here every time i take a picture here my photos and videos will now be shared with the person that i've invited to that shared folder now you have a button here to control that obviously if you enable it i take a picture that picture goes to that shared folder the other person that's with you on a trip will actually get that picture as well of course you can turn that off if you want to take other pictures that you don't want to share so the controls are built in to the camera application so there it is enabled i can take another picture or a video and this will save to that shared folder again if you're on a trip with a friend and you want to just go ahead and share those memories together with Without having to text or email images and videos constantly this is a new feature that is going to be very very useful for many many ios users and it's really cool actually i think a lot of people will take advantage of the new icloud shared photo library feature which is super cool now there's also some minor changes within the ui that i've also noticed here so we have live caption now has a new icon so let's go into settings here let's go into accessibilities and then a live caption so there it is live caption now has a cleaner ui as well so we have different options here if we go into appearance we now have the opacity we also have new bold text and other options so refinements across the board for live captions is also available under accessibilities within the latest beta now apple has also added a new feature under the wallet extension and settings use apple pay when available now your iphone will search and see if any merchant online accepts apple pay so you can use apple pay directly online if we go into settings and we go into the wallet extension here in settings so let's go into wallet here if we scroll down that's where you find this feature you can enable it it is off by default so use apple pay when available is a new feature that helps you save apple pay credentials and information so that you can go ahead and make purchases online using safari and using apple pay so yeah something that's new something that's cool within the latest beta as well now there's also some new changes with airpods apple yesterday released a new firmware update for airpods as well alongside ios 16 and beta 3 so if we go into settings here we pop open the airpods we have a new firmware update in these airpods categories this supports airpods second generation airpods
AirPods, third generation AirPods Pro and AirPods Max. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, there is the latest AirPods firmware. There it is. 5A304A. Now, Apple is working on the automatic switching. There was a bug within the AirPods lineup with automatic switching, so Apple is working to improve this feature. And of course, a bunch of bugs are being fixed with these uh, beta firmwares for AirPods as well. Again, supporting AirPods second, third, Pro and Max as well. So yeah, AirPods update now available within the latest iOS 16 beta 3 and the latest AirPods firmware as well. Now, last but not least, this is something that did not populate into my iPhone until several hours later, and it is the classic iPhone. What's old is now new again. The classic iPhone wallpaper, as you can see right here, is now available on iOS 16 beta 3. I think this is so cool. Apple is bringing this back. If we go into adding a wallpaper, it is under collections here, the Apple collection wallpapers. And this is just a, only a wallpaper. This is actually like a 3D animation. So let me bring you back home here and let me show you how this wallpaper sort of move when you swipe up. Take a look at that. You see that? It is so cool. It moves and it is the classic Steve Jobs first generation wallpaper for the iPhone now available on iOS 16 developer beta 3. Now I think this is available for all iPhones. I've updated the iPhone 13 Pro, the iPhone 13, 13 Max, 12. I mean, pretty much every device that I'm testing now shows this new Clownfish classic iPhone wallpaper, which is now available under the collections category, which is super cool. Again, very similar or pretty much the same wallpaper from the classic iPhone when Steve Jobs first announced the first generation iPhone. That is kind of cool to see here on the iPhone. I'm very, very excited to see what Apple will do with the next generation iPhone because they're bringing back classic stuff. So here is the wallpaper. This is the classic one on the right. And of course, this is the new one here on the left. Let me know what you think about the latest update. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.